Spectacular specialist shuttle. Let's get together for a huddle, but not too close. Got to keep the bubble. Let's start learning. Come on, let's hustle. We fit together like a puzzle. Library, music, art, PE. It's the super spectacular specialist shuttle. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's art lesson. Our theme this week is heart healthy. And the specialists will be focusing on ways to keep your heart healthy. Mr. Holt has been guiding the specialist shuttle with different kinds of activities and ways to keep our hearts healthy. In art class, we are going to be focusing on some artists that use hearts in their artwork. Our first artist's name is Burton Morris. He is an American pop artist and he uses lots of hearts in his artwork, but he also uses other subjects that reference heart healthy, like different kinds of sports and athletes. What are some of the ways that you are staying heart healthy this month? Before we get started on our lesson, let's see what Screech is up to. I wonder what Screech is going to make this week. <laughs> Screech, you are a cutie. What's in your treasure chest? He has some glue. Be careful, Screech, don't eat it. <laughs> and some different colored pieces of paper. Screech, you made such a mess. Great job, Screech. Your heart looks beautiful and bright. Aww. Welcome to Vocab with Van Gogh. Our word this week is pop art. Pop art is a movement that began in the late 1950s. Pop art is usually very bright and colorful. Pop artists include images from pop culture. But what is pop culture? Pop culture is everything that everyday people are interested in or are talking about. These things include music, TV shows, clothing, books, toys, technology, and people. Do you remember what pop artist you learned about at the beginning of the school year? Some well-known pop artists include Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein, Keith Haring, Yayoi Kusama, and this week's featured artist, Burton Morris.
Welcome to Salvador's Billies. What is a frog's favorite exercise? Jumping jacks. <laughs> What is a banana's favorite gymnastics move? The splits. <laughs> Why couldn't the fishermen go to the gym? Because he pulled a muscle. What is a ghost's favorite position in soccer? Goalkeeper. The artist you will learn about this week is named Burton Morris. He is an American pop artist from Pittsburgh. His paintings include images from pop culture, like foods and movies and different kinds of sports. He has also created many beautiful paintings with hearts as the subject, making him a perfect artist to learn about during our Heart Healthy Month. But he doesn't just paint hearts. Over the years, Burton Morris has created artwork for many different athletic teams and events, including the U.S. Olympic team, the 2006 MLB All-Star Game, the 2010 FIFA World Cup, and the 2016 U.S. Open. Let's check out some more of his work. For this activity, you will need scissors and glue. You will also need a pencil. You will need three square pieces of paper. One piece should be black and the other two can be any color that you want. We will use a white piece of scrap paper for the little highlights on the hearts. You will also need some various colors of scrap paper. Set your black paper aside and choose one of your other two square papers. Around the edge of the paper, draw a zigzag line. It should go all the way around, touching all four sides. Carefully cut along the line. 
Throw away all of your little scraps and then get your black paper. Use your glue stick to glue this piece of paper to the black background. Next, get out your third square piece of paper. This piece we will use for the heart. Start by folding your paper in half and then use a pencil to draw half of a heart on the folded side. Carefully cut out the heart and glue it to the other two papers. This is a bonus step. If you want to add more hearts to your picture, you can use little pieces of scrap paper to cut out more smaller hearts. Fold your paper in half, draw half of a heart on the folded side, and then cut out your heart. Do this for each little heart. If you don't have any colors of scrap paper, you can use your leftover pieces from the heart that you cut out. Mine would be the red paper. The next step is to add the little shiny spots on the hearts. We will use a scrap piece of white paper to do this. On the white paper, I'm going to draw a little shape for each heart highlight. It will look kind of like a teardrop or a raindrop. When I'm finished drawing these shapes, I will cut them out and glue them to each heart on the top right side. And now we are finished. This artwork was inspired by Burton Morris, and it represents our theme of heart healthy.
This week we learned that Burton Morris is an American pop artist. He creates artwork of pop culture, including hearts, food, and sports. He uses bold outlines and bright colors. To reflect, think about these questions. How could you do this activity using only one piece of paper? What are some ways that you can be heart healthy? What was your favorite artwork by Burton Morris? We hope you had fun. We'll see you next time.